Dice paper is efficient debt. The authors of the paper propose a scalable detection architecture while achieving higher accuracy and efficiency across a wide spectrum of resource constraints. Compared to other detection networks, a family of efficient debt achieves similar performance while reducing the number of parameters and flops. Before going into the details of the efficient debt paper, note that the work is based on the efficient net. The core concept in efficient net is compound scaling of the network in multiple dimensions. That is, input resolution, depth, and width of the network. Conventional methods only increase one dimension of the network. This could increase the performance of the model by manually tuning the scaling coefficient. But the process of finding the right value is time consuming, and it often results in suboptimal accuracy and efficiency. As shown in the figure, instead of scaling one or two dimensions of the network, EfficientNet expands the network in all dimensions. When compound scaling is performed in EfficientNet, the adjustment in each dimension is performed uniformly using a fixed scaling coefficient. For example, when given 2 to the power of n computational resources, we could increase the network depth by alpha raised to n width by beta raised to n and image size by gamma raised to n, where alpha, beta, and gamma are constant coefficients determined by a small grid search on the original small model. The process of finding the base efficient net P0 is performed using a multi-objective neural architecture search. Then starting from the found baseline network, the compound scaling method is applied to find the network of different sizes. Now, in the efficient debt paper, two major contributions are made. Bidirectional cross-scale connections, also called as phi FPM, and compound scaling. Phi FPM allows bidirectional fast multi-scale feature fusion. The figure shows the comparison of different FPM-based aggregation methods. Starting from A, a typical FPN network uses multi-scale features from level 3 to 7. The PA net architecture in B adds an additional bottom-up pathway on top of FPN to make use of the lower level features efficiently. The connection between the nodes can also be found by using a neural architecture search. As that's shown in C, the connections are different from the ones constructed by the humans. Comparing the three architectures, the authors observed that PANet achieves better accuracy than FPN and NAS FPN, but with the cost of more parameters and computations. Starting from the PANet architecture, to improve model efficiency, the authors of the efficient that first remove the nodes that only have one input edge and creates the simplified version of the PANet architecture shown in E. The intuition is that if a node has only one input edge with no feature fusion, then it will have less contribution to the feature network that aims to fuse different features. The authors then add an extra edge from the original input to the output node, if the nodes are at the same level. This is done to fuse more features without adding much more cost. Lastly, unlike PANet that only has one top-down and one bottom-up path, a bidirectional path is treated as one feature network layer and repeats the same layer multiple times to enable more high level feature fusion. The final proposed by FPN architecture is shown in figure F. A weighted feature fusion is utilized when the features are fused together. Since different input features at different resolutions contribute unequally to the output feature, Additional weight for each input acts as a scaling factor when the feature fusion is made. Specifically, fast normalized fusion shown in the equation is used. The positiveness of each W is ensured by applying ReLU, and Epsilon is added to avoid numerical instability. The aim of compound scaling of the network is to scale up a baseline model efficient at Z0 to cover a wide spectrum of resource constraints. 
A simple compound coefficient jointly scales up all dimensions of the backbone network, class box network, and resolution. Grid search was used in the efficient net paper, but a heuristic based scaling approach is used in efficient net. This is because object detectors have much more scaling dimensions than image classification models. Here are some things to note about the paper. To reuse ImageNet pre-trained checkpoints, width and depth of the efficient net B0 to B6 are scaled with the same coefficient. And using equation 1, the width of the bi-FPN network is grown exponentially, and the depth is increased linearly to round the depth value to small integers. The width of the prediction network is fixed to always be the same as bi-FPN but the depth of the prediction network is linearly increased using equation 2. Regarding input image resolution, BiFPN uses feature level from 3 to 7. The input resolution must be divisible by 2 raised to the power of 7, so the resolution of the image is linearly increased using equation 3. Using the compound scaling method, a family of efficient dead networks are generated, that is, efficient dead D0 to D7. The table shows a single scale performance of the models on the COCO dataset. The efficient dead models achieve better accuracy and efficiency than previous detectors across a wide range of accuracy and resource constraints. Note that the efficient dead D0 achieves similar accuracy as YOLO V3 with 28 times sphere of blocks. Also, compared to RetinaNet and MaskRCNN, the efficient that D1 achieves similar accuracy with up to 8 times fewer parameters and 25 times fewer blobs. The link to the paper and some useful resources will be provided in the description. That's all for today, and I'll see you next time with a new paper.